Good afternoon. Thank you very much. Today, the Committee on Aging will vote on two bills that New York City Council heard on April 23, 2018. Proposed intro 399B, sponsored by Council Member Vallone, and proposed intro 411A, which I am proud to sponsor. Proposed intro 399B would require the Department for the Aging, DIFTA, to annually report to the speaker and post on its website data about the participant, programming, services, and budget of each DIFTA 249 senior centers. The first report and the first set of data would be due by December 31st, 2018, and every December 31st thereafter. This data would include budget and cost information for congregate meals and for the three areas in which each senior center provides services, information and case assistance, education and recreation, and health promotion. DIFTA would also provide information about senior center staffing, personnel, service, budget, and contracts. The second part of the report and second set of data would be due by December 31st, 2019, and by every December 31st thereafter. This report would provide data about the number of participants, congregate meals served, and service utilized per day per senior center over the last fiscal year. Proposed intro 399B would take effect immediately. Proposed intros 411-A would require the, for the Department of Health and Mental Hygiene, which is DOHMH, to conduct health inspections at senior centers and social adult daycares that are considered food service establishment. Under the New York City Health Code, DOHMH will make their inspections result publicly available on their website and be required to submit an annual report to the mayor and to the speaker about the department's activities with respect to inspection of these senior centers and social adult daycares. The first report would be due by May 1st, 2019, and by every May 1st thereafter. This report would include the total number and names of senior centers and social adult daycare that qualify as food service establishment in each district. The number of these establishments inspected and information summarizing the result of those inspections, including violations and corrective actions. Proposed 411 Dash A would also require DIFTA to annually provide the Department uh, of Health and Mental Hygiene with a list of all senior centers and social adult daycares registered with the department and update any changes to the list on a monthly basis. DIFTA would also be required to post information about these health inspection to its website so that seniors searching for senior centers and social adult daycares will be informed about health safeties on such premises. Proposed intro 411A would take effect 180 days after it becomes law. Um, the council member that have joined us today, council member Vallone, council member uh, Diaz, council member Ayala, and council member Deutsch. Uh, now we will hear from council member Vallone, who is the sponsor of intro 399A. Thank you, Madam Chair. And these two bills are perfect examples of our teamwork and your leadership on aging when on numerous hearings that we're waiting for information from the agencies and we're just not getting some of that core information. And these bills are a direct result of that. Uh, the fact that the core of the Department for the Aging Services portfolio is the agency's citywide network of 246 contracted senior centers, frequently providing educational programs, congregate home-delivered meals, recreational programming, along with the variety of essential services, truly speaks to the importance of these centers and the populations they serve. And as we all know, seniors represent the fastest growing segment of the population in New York City, and by 2040, more than one in every five New Yorkers will be 60 or older. I will be one of them. Yet as of today, there are growing concerns about the declining senior center utilization rate and the growing number of social date care programs. 
this is why we've introduced and advocated for intro 399, which calls on the Department of Aging to report on a variety of metrics, including services, costs, utilization rates at senior centers across the city, not just for greater transparency, but also for a better understanding and a hope that we can help adequately provide essential services to the population that it needs it the most. We must continuously work hand in hand in making sure our seniors are not forgotten by creating and utilizing these programs and properly shaping and conducting outrage from DIFTA, several great organizations throughout the city. I'd like to thank everyone who's worked on this bill since our last session, especially including Laura Popa, Regina Pareda Ryden, Tahini Sampora, Kate and Fahey, those at Chowdhury, advocacy groups like Live On, AARP, FWPA, and of course my Chief of Staff, Jonathan Shutt, Michael Young, and Ahmed Nazar. Um, I know we promoted Legislative Director Michael Dunn and Deputy Director Ahmed Nazar. And then once again, I urge my colleagues to vote aye. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. We also have been joined by a uh, council member of Alone. I am going to ask the clerk to call the vote, and I urge uh, my colleague on the committee to vote yes on this legislation. Thank you. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on aging. Introductions 339B and 411A are both coupled. Chair Chin. Aye on all. Eugene. I vote aye. Deutsch. Can I explain my votes? Yes? So first of all, I want to congratulate Councilmember Vallone, and uh, really, you should have been an accountant because this, these two bills will not cost the taxpayers a single penny. I like that. So, and these are two great bills, and so I just want to thank our chair as well, and uh, I vote aye. Vallone. Aye on all. Ayala. Aye on all. Diaz. Permission to explain my vote. Uh, Madam Chairman and Council Members, as a person that has worked with senior citizens for most of my life, I created in the Bronx Casa Boricua Senior Center, Betanza Senior Center, Millbrook Senior Center, the South Bronx Senior Transportation Network and the home attendant program. I've been, I have been working with senior citizens. When I was here in, in, in 2001, I was the chairman of the, aging com of the aging committee. Today, when I see these two bills, uh, the two of you, Councilman Ballon, Councilman Chin, protecting and looking out for, for the senior, for the, that population that really needs our support and our protection, I am proud. I'm proud to serve with you, and I'm honored to vote yes in both of, the, of these two pieces of legislation because they are they needed, they needed, long overdue, and I congratulate you, so I vote yes. By a vote of six in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, both items have been adopted by the committee. We're gonna keep the vote open in the next uh, 15 minutes so that other council member on the committee uh, can come down to vote. Thank you.